Back, I almost feel like we're BFFs. I feel like we are BFFs. We <laughs> are BFFs. This close to being we BFFs. We absolutely are. Uh, we got a great show today. Medical mystery exclusive. Woman, this is the strangest case. I read about this uh, in, in the paper, and I, I, I had to talk to this lady. She's actually, doctors don't know what it is. Instead of growing hair on her body, she's growing fingernails. Stop it. I mean, her doctors say they've never seen anything like it. They have no idea what, what it's like. It. She's got more than $500,000 in medical debt. We're going to try to help her out. We're going to hear her story. Also, we're going to give you the top three tips that you can do to control medical bills or out of control medical bills. Plus, Camille Grammer is here breaking down the latest drama from the Housewives of Beverly Hills. Those Housewives are wild. It's gotten wild this year. Anyway, I always have fun talking to Camille Grammer. She's going to be here. Uh, a lot of stories in the news to talk about. You have uh, your news program. Um, oh this, I'm a, I was obsessed with this since this past weekend. Did you all see the monkey that escaped in, uh, in Toronto and got into the IKEA? Okay, this, look at this. This monkey escaped from a car and wound up in an Ikea. I mean, it's the weirdest thing. I'm obsessed with this. Now, are, are monkeys legal to just No, be well, that's a, the thing. You're a not, house pet? No, you're, you're not, in, in Toronto, you're not supposed to have uh, an exotic species like this. So the monkey has been, was finally caught and um, has been brought to, uh, to animal services. Aww. Yeah, uh, I'm obsessed with this monkey in Ikea to find out what ha what's happening to this monkey. We're talking to Robert Mearberg right now, who's the education officer from the Toronto Animal Services. He's joining us on the phone. So Robert, how is this monkey? Oh, well, the monkey's doing quite well. It's, the... here in, uh, it's here in the animal shelter and uh, we're looking after it. Is the monkey still wearing the coat? <laughs> No, uh, shortly after the monkey was, was picked up by one of our officers that was brought in and uh, the owners contacted us, the owner came in and removed the clothing off the uh, monkey. So Robert, what is, what's going to happen to this monkey? Well, shortly um, uh, we're going to be transporting the monkey up to uh, a primate sanctuary just north of Toronto. So it's going to be released into a primate sanctuary where people who actually know how to care for it will be able to care for it? We had a uh, discussion with the owner, and uh, the owner has, has um, signed the, the monkey, which his name is Darwin. So they've, they've signed Darwin over to uh, our services, and we're going to take it up to the sanctuary. Uh, well, listen, Robert, thank you so much for taking care of Darwin. I'm glad you found Darwin at home. Thank you very much for talking to us. Happy ending. Okay, so some other ridiculous items in the news. I also saw recently, you know, every now and then some new fashion comes along, and you say to yourself, oh, who would ever wear this? And usually some ridiculous fashion for women. Um, this, I, I saw over the weekend, this some new fashion for guys. Have you seen this? They're called meggings, meggings. which yes. are leggings for men, meggings. I didn't know what a, what a legging was for women. This is what a megging is for a guy. You really, it's like, it's like Robin Hood men in tights, you know, it, right? A would, I don't know any guy who would wear this, though. There you uh, go. <laughs> okay. Creepy. Wait a minute. I could just... Wait a minute. I, do I am am I like Edward Scissorhands? Do I have the longest <laughs> arms on the planet? Now? Nail polish on. It works. That... It works. What, what is going I could on? see it on you though. You yeah. have good legs to wear that. No, I don't have good legs. Those are not my legs. I have I have scrawny little chicken <laughs> legs that are freakish and uh, that no one needs to well, see. Well, see, you know, with those those meggings, I have a little gift for you. Not this oh. one but this one, oh. and I think it would go perfectly with your meggings. I, I don't have meggings, I just, <laughs> for the record. But maybe you should. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. It's what a is... light up Christmas sweater. Oh. <laughs> you have to try yeah. it on. I appreciate it. Well, <clears throat> oh, this is nice. I like this, yeah. And with the meggings, this would it be would perfect really for the be meggings. Yes. the perfect holiday yeah. here. I like the lighting. How does it, there's like a battery power. There's a battery That's pack. Crazy. Try not to electrocute yourself Well, you know, right we now. actually, this is perfect because um, we are having a, uh, and not that this applies, 
No. But we're having an ugly sweater contest. <laughs> and it's our ugly sweater December contest. Oh, there are. They're good. playing Thank your you. song. Yes. <laughs> the contest uh, goes up until the 16th of December. So send us your photos at uh, AndersonCooper.com and you could win a, a free trip to Hawaii. The, the person with the ugliest sweater gets the, uh, the free trip to Hawaii. A bunch of our viewers have started uh, sending in photos. This is my favorite. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Watch out for the nose. Yeah. This is Karen in a, sort of a Christmas tree ensemble. Andrea has gone all out. That's a, that's a pretty, Con pretty ugly one. Con Edison would like her yeah. because she's Can really Can we see the, the, the snowman, though, one again? Because for me, that's yeah. just the, uh, that's the, Danielle, this is Danielle's, oh. yeah, Danielle's. <laughs> I think that I mean that's a that's that's up there on the list of of ugly uh, yeah disturbing sweaters. Is that a carrot in your pocket, or are you happy to see me? I don't know. Ah. <laughs> um, the, <laughs> the oh, and we oh, where's the bikini? Oh oh yeah. So if, if you win the ugly sweater contest and you go to Hawaii, oh, we'll also send along oh, yeah. this, which is a. Uh, an ugly sweater bikini that we uh, we had made. I, you know, yeah. and also while you're talking about things for the holidays, mm -hmm. I wanted to talk to you about you know the tradition in many Italian American households. It's the night of seven fishes. You know, sure. we make all these delicious fish dish. But I wanted to say, growing up, there was one I did not like. Uh huh. Bacala. Do you know what bacala is? You mean the dessert? Does anybody know? No, 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 no. You're, you're thinking of baklava. Oh, baklava. Okay, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I love baklava. Are you kidding? But bacala, it's really, a, it's a salted cod. Oh, okay. And so I thought I'd bring you a piece of bacala. <laughs> Thank you. It's sort of, you know, like from my family to yours, because I know... Uh -huh. You know, the Vanderbilts, they, they probably don't know what bacala uh, is. Well, I, I, so, uh, <laughs> right? He's afraid. It's not a lot. Oh. Wow. It really is a... Uh... Stinky fish. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and days. And it stinks up the whole house. Now, Terrence, No, I'm not going to touch... You want me to... Sure, take it out. Am, am I, is my hand going to stink for days? Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. It reeks. I know. And then Terry. Oh I, my God! <laughs> it's like my dog's breath. This is what my dog's breath is like. And Terrence, we have a, yeah. a cooked version, okay. right? He's gonna try it. And I think you should try it because maybe when it's cooked up, it tastes a little better than it smells. I. I, I... <laughs> <laughs> it, oh, it's it's quite a pungent fish. It is. I, it I is. don't like I don't like a lot of fish. Thank I, and and I like fish that that taste like other things. I don't like fish that. Wow. Do I, I... It really, it's, it, it would be an insult <laughs> if you didn't try it. It would be an insult. <laughs> but... Oh, see, Filipinos <laughs> do that as well. See? <laughs> you can use the napkin. That's what I used to do. It's like a steak. <laughs> wow. I, I assure you, anything after that is so good. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, uh, it is a tradition in our family, seven fishes and bacala. God. Can I take this off? Sure. Yeah, okay. J just temporarily, because I'll be wearing it all day. I was about to say, you know, between the fish and the, the yeah. sweater. I had to literally pick out bacala from between my teeth. <laughs> um, uh, all this uh, month, we, uh, you know, a lot of shows give out amazing gifts uh, for the holidays. And, and, you know, that's easy to do. We wanted to think of something different, and you know, one of my favorite um, Christmas specials is the um, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And I don't know if you remember how familiar you are, but in Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, there's the land of misfit toys, where all like the, the, the strange uh, bad toys go. And there's like the train with square wheels, and they're like, nobody wants a train with square wheels. <laughs> and then there's a Charlie in the box, and it's like, nobody wants a Charlie in the box. <laughs> So we decided we would have our favorite holiday misfit toys that we would give to you. Oh, that's nice. In spirit. So we're kicking it off today. Hey, we have our very own Charlie in the box that, um, <laughs> that I'm going to crank up. Okay. And, uh, and, and, and Charlie will give us uh, today's gift. Okay. Excellent. All right. One, One two, <laughs> three. three. Oh! <laughs> Thank you there, Charlie. All right. 
No expenses spared. I mean, here. we have gone all out. Wow. No. I'm so impressed. <laughs> so this toy is um and and uh, everybody's getting this. You're going to be very excited. Oh, yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. All right. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah. It's we, by the way, we have some really bad ones planned for everybody. But, but today, this is, this is a crustache. It is the mustache sandwich cutter. Oh. Because for years, for years, everybody has wanted, you wanted to have a sandwich <laughs> shaped like a mustache, and it's very difficult to do. But thanks to the crustache, you'll easily be able to do that. You just put it down. You do? Squeeze it, you cut off all the extra. It works. It works, absolutely. And you're left with <gasps> a mustache shaped oh. sandwich that your kids can then play with. I like it. Yeah. I like it. I... Would you like a bite of my crustache? Yes. <laughs> I didn't. Uh... Right, yeah. I didn't know that there was a big demand for this sort of thing, <laughs> but apparently there is. This is a toy from, uh, it's from perpetualkid.com, and everybody in the audience is going to go home. Oh, that's the, uh, the oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 We spend the whole budget on the Charlie in the box, and so <laughs> the gifts we're skimping on. No. Uh, so anyway, more of the first 15, including the must-have fragrance of the season. It's actually sold out. This is from Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut has created a fragrance because God knows we all want to smell like pepperoni. We'll, uh, we'll, that we'll, could be delicious. We'll have that. We'll be right back. Great to have you here. Thank you so um, much. So we were, uh, uh, th this was a story that I saw the other day, and, and we couldn't find any until today. Um, pizza is actually hand-delivered to us from Canada, from Pizza Hut. I heard they love you in Canada. Uh, I, uh, Not as I, much I, as we love you, I but love I heard Canada, they yeah. love you no, in Canada. Uh, yeah, we do very, very well in Canada. Um, so this is a limited edition. Pizza Hut has come out with a fragrance, and this is a limited edition. It looks like the pizza bot, uh, box. Oh, that too. Well, I don't know what it, I don't know what that means. It looks like a pizza box. Maybe because it smells like pizza box. <laughs> but you open it up, and um, do you want to? Spice yeah, them? sure. Wait, let me make sure I'm, I'm half blind here. Okay. Does that smell like pizza? Anybody else want to try? Yeah, yeah all right. I'm not sure yeah. what it Anybody? smells like. Little? I, I don't know. It's, they, it's supposed to smell like pizza, but I don't, I don't know if it, it really... It smells like what? It smells like feet. Like feet? Really? <laughs> I think it smells like bacala. <laughs> no, I think that's hard. what it smells like. Wow. Um, anyway. Last week, um, uh, you know, everybody across the country was stunned when a man was killed on the, the subway tracks in New York, and there was a big debate about, uh, you know, w could people have done more? His photograph was taken. Should people, other people who were on the platform done more? Just days later, another man fell onto the tracks, and his life was spared when a bystander did actually jump into action. Her name is Doreen Winkler, and she's actually here uh, with us today. Doreen, thanks very, very much yeah. for being with us. So, what was, what was the moment like when you saw the man fall on the tracks? It just went really quick. I heard the noise and I immediately got up. I was sitting there in the train station. I got up and looked at the railing and I knew something has to be happening really quick. So what did, what, what did you do? So I first like basically tried to communicate with him and said, get up, get up, you know, really loud. But um, he wasn't responding and I heard later that he was actually injured. Uh -huh. And so I saw another man and, you know, I'm really good at yelling at people, so I yelled at him. <laughs> you know, I am good at bossing people around and, you know, like I said, I, you need to go down there. Uh -huh. You know, help him. Like, I really was, like, frantically, like... So that man jumped down. Yes, and he fell as well. He so, felt really... And then it was for him so hard to shovel him over uh -huh. to the um, rail. And, yeah, I mean, I threw my bag away and I grabbed, like, I've never done before. And you're, you're like five, what, five two? 
Yeah. I have, you know, when you have to be strong, then you, you're strong, I feel. Well, that's yeah. great. That's really nice. Just two days after, you know, big front page news in New York yeah. about a man falling on the tracks, and um, he didn't have obviously the same outcome as your your person that you rescued. He died, um, and no one came to his rescue. Yeah. Was any of that playing through your mind yeah. uh, while this? I happened? immediately was like, today, today nobody's gonna die. No. So you were I thinking of Mr. Hahn when, when you saw Absolutely. this? Absolutely. But in general, I mean, I thought that it's the most natural thing to do. Something is in deep trouble, and you help them. Mm. You don't watch somebody die. You don't. Yeah. Well, he's, it's, uh, we need more people like you in the city. Very and, and I understand. Um, I understand you like to uh, to cook, so we wanted to figure out what we could do for you. We didn't. We didn't feel like the mustache cutter was enough for a, a hero. So our friends. But give it to her anyway. No. Well, we'll yeah. give you that. But also, our friends at Williams Sonoma are going to give you a thousand dollar gift card. Wow. So we have a thousand dollar gift card. So thank you so much for being with us. Up next, a medical mystery. You're going to meet a woman who actually grows fingernails instead of hair. Doctors are completely mystified. They haven't heard of this before. She wound up having half a million dollars worth of debt. Got a big surprise for her when we come back. Wow,